Why does fiber optic ethernet prevail in China? Recently, my family upgraded the fiber optic gigabit network. Although we know that fiber optic as the transmission medium can make the network have high bandwidth, low latency, low loss, and anti-interference characteristics. But the actual experience effect still amazed me. Not only can the 4K follow-up progress bar be dragged at will, but even the download of nearly 70G Cyberpunk 2077 is also at a full speed of gigabit, which is completed in one minute. Although the internet was not born in China, today China's broadband optical fiber coverage has exceeded 98%, and the reason why China's broadband optical fiber has been popularized so fast, in addition to its strong infrastructure capacity, is that China has replaced copper cable with optical fiber. The previous networks used copper cables, which were expensive, and the speed and optical fiber were incomparable. Due to the strong capabilities of Chinese manufacturing, the price of optical fiber has been reduced to cabbage. The price of copper has always been so expensive, which has also given operators motivation. Replacing copper cables with optical fibers can also be used to sell money, which not only saves money but also makes money. Operators are naturally willing to do such a good thing. Moreover, fiber optic cables have a high impedance to electromagnetic noise such as radio, motor, or other adjacent cables, preventing them from being affected by electrical noise. From a long-term maintenance perspective, due to the glass material used in the optical fiber, which is non-conductive and does not generate sparks due to circuit breakers, lightning strikes, and other reasons, it has strong safety and is particularly suitable for flammable, explosive, and other situations. So compared to cables, fiber optic transmission has advantages such as low attenuation, wide frequency band, strong anti-interference, high safety performance, small size, and light weight, and has incomparable advantages in long-distance transmission and special environments. The country has provided strong support to the fiber optic industry, not only by opening up research institute-related technologies, but also in the field of funding. Several domestic fiber optic production enterprises immediately increased their investment in the research and development of fiber optic preforms. For example, Changfei, the eldest son of domestic optical fiber, has conquered the improved PCVD process in Europe based on the OVD introduced that year, achieving independent research and production of the entire set of optical fiber and cable equipment. It has also conquered the independent design and development of the PCVD preform manufacturing equipment with the highest technological content, and the production efficiency of the independently developed PCVD equipment is higher than that of the original imported one. Subsequently, Changfei further aimed at the most advanced international technology and has successfully developed a VAD, external vapor deposition, plus OVD, axial vapor deposition, process and equipment platform with fully independent intellectual property rights. It has also built the world's largest fiber optic preform production base in Tianjiang, Hubei, to achieve large-scale production of the VAD plus OVD project. At present, Changfei Company has surpassed Corning to become the world's largest manufacturer of prefabricated rod fiber optic cables. Another enterprise, Hengtong, has also achieved a breakthrough in fiber optic preforms, not only conquering preform technology, but also achieving extremely large-scale production of large-sized preforms. In addition, it has also pioneered high-level technology such as CCVD, continuous chemical vapor deposition, and low-cost optical rod production methods in the industry. In the production process of light rods, the longer and thicker the light rods, the lower the manufacturing cost. Moreover, the CCVD optical rod production process independently developed by Engtong Optoelectronics has higher efficiency and less attenuation compared to other processes, making it very suitable for use in submarine optical cables. At present, Hengtong has successfully built the largest fiber optic preform production base in Asia, capable of producing 2,500 tons of fiber optic preforms annually. If these optical rods are all pulled into optical fibers, they can circle the earth more than 2,000 times. It is precisely because of this that China's fiber optic has achieved the price of fiber optic, which is only 40 yuan per kilometer. The Chinese fiber optic industry has become a giant in the world, with 7 out of the top 10 fiber optic enterprises. In 2022, the national fiber optic cable production reached 346 million core kilometers, ranking first in the world and accounting for over 60% of the world. The prospects for China's fiber optic industry are very broad. By the end of 2023, more than 100 gigabit cities will be built nationwide, achieving a coverage rate of over 80% for urban household gigabit optical networks. This will undoubtedly bring greater opportunities for the outbreak of China's fiber optic industry.